Hello everyone. This is CCNA Security Lab 9311, configuring ASA basic settings and firewall. And this is our topology. We have three VLAN, VLAN 1 is inside zone, VLAN 2 is outside zone, and VLAN 3 is DMZ. Your company has one location connected to an ISP. Router 1 represents a CPE device managed by the ISP. Router 2 represents an intermediate internet router. Router 3 represents an ISP that connects an administrator from a network management company, who has been hired to remotely manage your network. The ASA is an edge CPE security device that connects the internal corporate network and DMZ to the ISP while providing NAT and DHCP services to inside hosts. The ASA will be configured for management by an administrator on the internal network and by the remote administrator. Layer 3 VLAN interfaces provide access to the three areas created in the activity, inside, outside, and DMZ. The ISP assign the public IP address space of 209.165, 0.200.224/29 slash which will be used for address translation on the ASA now we'll verify connectivity PCC can ping any router interface but PCC is unable to ping PCB or the DMZ server Next, we use the command show version to determine various aspects of this ASA device. As you see, the version of this device is 8.4, and device manager version is 6.4. We can also see all features supported by this base license. We can use the command, show file system, to display the ASA file system. And there are two prefixes supported. We can use both to display the contents of flash memory. It returned the same result. Now we'll configure the host name and domain name. And configure the enable mode password. and set the date and time. Then, we configure the inside and outside interfaces. VLAN 1 is inside zone, with security level 100. VLAN 2 is outside zone, with security level 0. OK, we'll use some show commands to check the configurations.
All right. They are all correctly. So, PCB should be able to ping to the ASA, but it is unable to ping to outsize network. I'll use simulation mode to show you how the packet is transferred. As you see, the packet is dropped by the ASA, because we're not configure default root and NAT. Now, we'll configure a static default root for the ASA. And verify the static default root is in the ASA routing table. So, the ASA should be able to ping the router one. Next, we'll configure address translation using PAT and network objects. Ok, now the ping packet sent from PCB to outside network can go through the ASA. But the packet replied is blocked. So we have to configure the default inspection policy to allow ICMP. We create the class map, policy map, and add the inspection of ICMP traffic to the policy map. Now, PCB can ping to the outside network. Next step, we'll configure a DHCP address pool, DNS server, and enable it on the ASA inside interface. Then, PCB can receives IP addressing information. Next, we'll configure AAA to use the local database for authentication.
and configure remote access to the ASA. Like a router, we generate an RSA key pair, which is required to support SSH connections. But you can see, the ASA device has RSA keys already, so we enter no when prompted to replace them. We configure the ASA to allow SSH connections, from any host on the inside zone, and from the remote management host is PCC. OK, we'll verify the SSH connection from outside and inside. They are all success. Next, we'll configure DMZ with VLAN 3, where the public access web server will reside. Because the server does not need to initiate communication with the inside zone, so we disable forwarding to interface VLAN 1. We'll use some show commands to check the configurations. Next we configure static NAT to the DMZ server using a network object. Finally, we configure an ACL to allow access to the DMZ server from the internet. We permit ICMP and TCP traffic port 80 to allow web access. and we apply the ACL to the ASA outside interface in the indirection. Because the packet tracer is not support to successfully test outside access to the DMZ web server, so the successful testing for this section is not required. We're done all part of this activity and we got 100%. Thank you for watching.